In bacterial photosynthesis, a single photosystem is involved. When an electron is energized by absorption of light, it is ejected from the photosystem reaction center. The electron then passes to ferredoxin and then down through the cytochrome B6F complex, plastocyanin PC, and finally back to the reaction center. The energy released during this electron transport generates a proton gradient which is used to produce ATP. Since the excited electron returns to the reaction center, this mechanism for making ATP is called cyclic photophosphorylation. The reducing power needed for biosynthesis is not generated in the process of cyclic photophosphorylation. Plants and cyanobacteria utilize two photosystems which work sequentially to produce both energy and reducing power. First, a photon of light ejects a high energy electron from photosystem 2. The electron lost from photosystem 2 does not return to photosystem 2 but is replaced by an electron generated from the splitting of water and the production of oxygen. The electron then travels from the excited reaction center of photosystem 2 to plastoquinone to the B6F complex to plastocyanin and finally to the reaction center of photosystem 1. This electron transport system generates a proton motive force that is used to produce ATP. Since the excited electron does not return to photosystem 2, this mechanism for making ATP is called non-cyclic photophosphorylation. When photosystem 1 absorbs a photon of light, it ejects a high energy electron. The energy from this light absorption is used to generate reducing power in the form of NADPH. The ejected electron is replaced by an electron from photosystem 2. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like the video.